Hi, I'm Kiko with Conservation Northwest, and I'm here to give some tips and best practices for staying safe when you're out recreating in areas where you might encounter wildlife. The first thing to remember is that you're venturing out into someone else's habitat. So if you do come across an animal, remember to be respectful, give it enough space, and stay quiet to reduce your impact on the animal. And remember to never feed wildlife. Wildlife encounters can be rare, and usually when they do happen, they're really positive and special experiences. But on rare occasions, if an animal feels threatened or surprised, it can become aggressive. You might think of bears, cougars, or even wolves when it comes to wildlife attacks, but actually some other animals that are more common and potentially dangerous are elk, moose, and mountain goats. As I mentioned earlier, it's really helpful to pay close attention to the animal's behavior and know the difference between a curious and aggressive animal. This can keep both you and the animal safe. If you do come across a wild animal, remember these golden rules. One, stay calm. See if the animal even notices you. If it doesn't seem to notice, you can back away slowly and both of you can continue on with your day. But if it does notice you, remain calm and hold your ground. Two, let the animal know that you're a human. A lot of times animals are just trying to figure out what you are, so if you talk to it and kind of wave your arms around, it'll let it know that you're a human and it'll probably want nothing to do with you. Three, be loud. The human voice is a powerful tool, so talk loudly and yell if you need to. Four, be big. If you're with a group, you can link arms together, or you can take a backpack or a jacket and put it over your head to make yourself seem larger. Five, don't run. This is actually a prey response, so if the animal is a predator, it can prompt it to chase you. Six, don't turn your back and back away slowly. But the best way to ensure the safety of yourself and animals around you is to avoid any chances of negative encounters in the first place. So let's go over some precautions to take when you're on the trail or in your camp. Today, I've got some help from my friends Heather and Laurel. Some other tips to follow are considering another area or trail if you come across bear scat, moving away from the area if you come across cubs. This means a protective mother is likely nearby traveling with a buddy and making sure to chat, alerting an emergency contact of your whereabouts and expected stay, practicing leave no trace ethics, pack out what you pack in, keeping your dogs on a leash and under control. I hope you found these tips helpful and you're feeling ready to go out into the wilderness. If you still feel a little bit nervous about being in areas where there are wildlife, you can always stick to more populated trails where wildlife tend to stay away from. Everyone has their own way to enjoy the outdoors, whether it's an urban park or the wilderness, so do whatever's comfortable for you. If you do encounter wildlife, just remember these golden rules. One, stay calm. Two, let it know you're a human. Three, be loud. Four, be big. Five, don't run. And six, don't turn your back and move away slowly. So don't forget to pack your wildlife safety items. Recreate responsibly, and if you do come across wildlife, remember to be respectful, cautious, and cherish the moment. Happy trails!